What's up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, the number 10 UAB Blazers are on the road again, taking on the Vanderbilt Commodores. And if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below for more content such as this. As we are going to take a look at the recruiting, as we are going to talk about how we are doing in the SEC as far as everything else goes. The SEC is looking pretty solid. Uh, obviously, Vanderbilt's not that top tier team that they once were when they had like Jay Cutler. Even then, I don't think they were like top tier, but they were still you know formidable with Jay Cutler on that team. Um, but they haven't been like that team uh, for quite a while. <laughs> So, I wouldn't say this is going to be an easy game, but both Vanderbilt's wins have come against, come against cupcake opponents, and their one loss um, came against a pretty good one as well. So, it's really hard to say that this is a good 2-1 team because Vanderbilt has had wins against pretty bad teams. Um, when you And your loss came against a really good team. It's kind of hard to judge if you're a good team or not. And this is going to be another good test for Vanderbilt to see how true they really are. They can upset the number 10 team in the nation i don't know that i don't know about that though we'll, we'll wait till we get on the field but we are looking really good as far as recruiting goes i know we're behind on some of these other guys but we finally got some visits out of some of these guys that we we're looking for um this is gonna be a really tough year for us because we're competing with a lot of players and a lot of schools um a lot of good schools as a matter of fact I'm not saying that we're not good but i mean there's a lot of other good teams in there and you know if we beat vanderbilt it just ups our chances to get some of these other recruits that are trying to go to Vanderbilt and uh, I, I say that only helps our chances if we could beat Vanderbilt today because they're get we got a lot of recruits that are wanting to go there that are also wanting to come here as well so we need to go out there do our best and not not like choke and plus we're still in contention for a national championship and we have a Heisman winning quarterback on our side it's kind of hard to see uh, how this could play out poorly and if we lose I mean it's gonna hurt our chances a little bit but it's not gonna overall hurt our chances for a national championship because we could still lose one game I think and be able to go to a national championship considering the conference that we play in especially uh, we play in one of the most elite conferences in college football and I, I I'm hoping that we can all play it out right so here we take a look at the top 25 polls. South Carolina still number one and another SEC team. Florida at number two. And Texas three, another SEC team at four at Alabama. Three out of the four teams in the top 20 or top five SEC. Three out of the top five are SEC teams. You also got Old Miss in there. We got UAB in there, Auburn in there as well. Um you know, a lot of SEC teams within the top 15. And luckily for us, we only face like a few of those opponents but we could face of one of them in the sec championship game so it really could all depend if we even go to the sec championship game too you take a look at the heisman standings your boy justin kelly still on the top of that list looking for his heisman campaign to continue today against vanderbilt he has yet to throw an interception in his entire career of college football that's how good he's been so far and I mean, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but it's eventually going to happen where he's going to throw an interception, but hopefully it doesn't come back at a bad time, you know. But he's been amazing so far. I cannot believe how well he's been playing, you know. But take a look at the SEC East standings. Florida's up there. So is South Carolina. Both of South Carolina's games have come against SEC opponents. And South Alabama 2-1 and one now after they got their butts kicked against us. That's their only loss of the season. But they got a good solid foundation over there. And uh, we're going to get ready for this game against Vanderbilt in here in Vanderbilt Stadium. Should be a good one. Get your popcorn, get your drinks, and get ready for some football. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Blazers have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few Ws, that's exactly what happened. We'll see if they can keep it up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit.
underway here at Vanderbilt Stadium as number 10 UAB plans to invade and take what is theirs and that is going to be looking for to start 5-0 and on the season and man what was the last time we lost a game we haven't lost a game in like almost a year and a half almost two full seasons now that we haven't lost a game um it's been a while <laughs> hasn't it but with the, re the way that things have shaped up so far it looks like we could Probably, I don't know, the SEC is really tough. We'll have to play it out. But here we get it off to Doug Nash on a pass for 16 yards and a first down. Getting it on that first possession. We need to get a fresh, quick start against this team to show them who's dominant. Look and see Justin Kelly taking off running. You know he likes to do that too. Besides passing, he likes to run as well. And he's very good at it, you know. He, he can run very well. Third down and six here. Kelly in the single back formation. Dropping back. Looking left side. It's dropped by Doug Nash this time. And uh, should we go for it? I think, nah. Nah, too risky. But third and ten here for Vanderbilt. They got their quarterback, Holy Cross, in the shotgun. He's dropping back. Looking for the screen pass. And he gets it off. But uh, I'm surprised we didn't make a, like, a stop right there in the backfield. But we're lucky to make a stop uh, right there, right before he got to the first down marker. So we get the ball back. So third down and three here. Looking underneath the Hester Jr. We didn't get the block there from Brian Green. If we would have got that block, we may have taken it all the way. But we didn't get the block. So he only gets nine yards. Third down and four there for UAB. Kelly dropping back. Looking to Matt Ford. Matt Ford pushing forward. Getting a first down. And we're nearing the end of the first quarter. We still have nothing on the scoreboard yet. Kind of interesting so far how this is going to play out. Play action here. Kelly looking. Scrambling to his right, trying to find somebody. He finds Hester Jr. right there with the completion for a gain of 17 yards. Second down and nine here for UAB. Kelly dropping back, looking right or left side. is caught by Donald Hills. Touchdown, Blazers. And it's now 7-0 just like that. So here comes Vanderbilt on their second possession here. Let's see what they can do here to get on themselves on the board. They're going to do a, a handoff to Bozeman. Bozeman with the carry in the first down, picking up 14 yards. Where's the run defense, guys? We got to do better than that. First and 10, strong eye formation here for Vanderbilt as they're going to try and establish the run and then maybe fool us with some play action. They're going to drop back to pass this time without play action, and they're going to get it left side to Turner. First down, Vanderbilt, and a lot more. As you see, it's, this guy's not easy to take down. Jimmy Turner for a pickup of 26 yards. First and 10 again for Vanderbilt. Shotgun formation for Holy Cross. He's going to do it. another handoff to Bozeman. Bozeman getting off oh, the fumble. Picked up by Thomas Mueller. And UAB gets the ball back. First and 10 for the Blazers here. And let's see what we can do to change up the play. We see something in the defense. You see the coverage is a little too tight. And Doug Nash actually kind of breaks it out and gets a 19-yard completion down the field. Second down and five here. Play action. Kelly steps back. Looking deep over the middle. Caught by Brian Green. He gets tripped up after picking up almost 30 yards on that play. Second down and two here. 342 left. Kelly. And he's going to take the read option. He's going to find himself in the end zone. Touchdown, Blazers. It's now 14 zip as we are nearing halftime. Halfway through the second quarter here. Let's see if Vanderbilt can get it together. Here is Holy Cross. Dropping back to pass. Looking left side. It's going to be it. Oh, it's almost intercepted. Robert Roth. Man, you got once you if you get your hands on it, man, you gotta catch the ball, man. You gotta catch it. First and ten. We're gonna run that read option. Hand it off to Hicks. Hicks with a good run up the middle. And he's gonna try and stiff arm and gets his way down for a pickup of 17, 18 yards on that play. Eight carries, 41 yards. He is having a quiet season, but it's been efficient, quiet. Like that's how good he's been. On third down and five, though, we tried to do the screen pass, but it doesn't work out. They snuffed it out and uh they get the ball back with about a minute and a half to go here. Just under 90 seconds to go. Third down and nine. Holy Cross drops back. Looks. Takes down. Vince. Holy Cross taken down for the sack. And uh, we get the ball back once again. Would you look at that? The defense is playing extremely well today. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, but Doug Nash pick up a 15 yards and a first down. Later on, third down and 14 here. Uh, Justin Jordan in this time because we had to sit out Kelly for at least a play because he's hurt for just a second. No worries, guys. He's going to be back on the field. But uh, he tried to get it in the end zone, tried to throw it up for Hester Jr. because of the 
height advantage he has on almost every defender, but he just couldn't bring it down. And Green with the field goal, it's going to be 17 nothing going into halftime. Well, we got about one more play before we go to halftime. They're going to try and throw it out for grabs. Let's see what they can do. Holy Cross dropping back. Has some time. Steps up and throws. And it's going to be intercepted by Terrence Savoy. And he is going to take this one. Trying to get it to midfield so we can get at least one more shot at it. But it's not going to work out. As uh, we're going to go into halftime with a 17-0 lead. Vanderbilt to start with the ball here in the second half. Third and 17. Holy Cross drops back. Has some time, steps to his right, throws as he's hit, and it's going to be deflected into double coverage. Not a smart pass right there. Savoy and Lewis were right there to try to defend that pass, and we get the ball back first and 10 here for Vanderbilt, or not for Vanderbilt, for UAB. And we're going to do a counter play to the left side. It's going to be a nice run here, right here by Aaron Hicks. Look at him go. He is just tearing it up this season, guys. Like, like I said, he may win some national recognition for how well he's been playing. And you see right here, Brian Green! Touchdown, UAB. It's 24-zip. And this game is getting out of control here for Vanderbilt as the fans are not happy about this one. Second and ten, Holy Cross. Looking left side. It's going to be caught by Clark. And he gets nailed by Thomas Mueller. Like, just put him in the coffin and bury him. Good God. So first and ten. For Vanderbilt, all in the shotgun is Holy Cross dropping back to pass, looking over the middle to Willis, and Willis taken down at about the 41-yard line. First and 10 here for Vanderbilt again. Single back formation this time. Holy Cross steps back, fires up over the middle to Clark, and Clark shoves down a defender, but he's taken down almost immediately by Thomas Mueller. He is a sure tackler, that's for sure. Oh, my Lord, he can tackle. So second and goal, strong eye formation. They're going to hand it up to the fullback, and we cannot take him down. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Ricky Cook from about three yards out. They're going to go for the two-point conversion here to try and bring it within a two-score game. Holy Cross looks over the middle. It's caught by Clark, and the two-point conversion is good. It's 24 to 8. Third down and eight here for UAB. We got to try and get them that one right back. So we don't want them to be back into this game. We get this one off to Rob Pace. For a pickup of 15 yards and a first down. Later on in the drive, very next play. 13 seconds left here in the third. Kelly dropped it back over the right side. It's caught by Brian Green. He's not going to be taken down so easily. Picks up 14 yards and another fresh set. Later on, third last play of the third quarter here. Let's see how we fare. Kelly in the shotgun trying to change up the play. And he's looking to that left side again. But he's going to actually go over the middle to Rob Pace. My initial read was over to the left side. He goes deep to Rob Pace, and it pays off for a touchdown. 31-8 as we enter the fourth quarter. And here comes Vanderbilt. Holy Cross dropping back over the middle to Clark, and he gets a quick strike for a first down, and the yak yardage on that one was just great. Short pass goes for a big gain. Third down and nine here for Vandy. And all alone, uh, not alone, but Holy Cross looking for the screen pass, and he's not going to get it. Bozeman is not going to be getting that first down anytime soon. So they're going to go for it on fourth down. Fourth and 14. Holy Cross drops back. Looking end zone. And Lewis had a bad coverage right there. And uh, now it's 31-14. But later on, we're going to get one right back right there. Making it 38-14. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be your ball game. UAB is now 5-0 and on the season. 3-0 and in SEC play. And Justin Kelly continues to put up big numbers. As he won player of the game once again. Final score 38-14. And next week we are going to be taking on another SEC opponent in Arkansas. That's going to be a great game as well, ladies and gentlemen. So get ready for that one. But as I always say, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new to this channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below for more content such as this. But until next time. My name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. And I am out. Peace.